Hi there, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get around the problem of um, having a guest that's unable to get internet via the wireless on your host. So if you have a laptop for example, um, there's two things you have to do. You have to install an extra NIC. I'll um, go through it right now. So on the screen at the moment, I have a clone of my server. Um, I want to right click on it and then I want to go to settings. In the settings you'll have a uh, network adapter. And I've already created an extra adapter. So the primary one will be a bridge adapter that will bind obviously to your controller. And then you enable that. And on the second adapter, this is where it's, it's this is the crucial point that you actually have to add extra to it. Um, you will have to add um, a NAT. So what I mean by that, attach the NAT to it. So that traffic will be able to like um, communicate. So for example, if you don't have NAT enabled on it, you'll be able to communicate to the internal network, but it won't be able to translate the internet packets. So it will be able to resolve it, everything. Um, it just won't be able to relay. And um, so that's the real crucial point and part of that. Uh, so what I'll get you to do is, right now I will um, start my machine. I mean, I was like um, going on forums all the time trying to find exactly a solution for this. Most people said it wasn't applicable for um, a built-in wireless card. But I kind of had my hesitation when I, you know, I, I was thinking to myself, can't I just net, net it through like another con uh, never controller? Um, so when you do install a server by scratch, obviously it doesn't come with two NICs. It only has one NIC. Um, so that's ideally the best solution, for, especially for um, uh, a laptop that's got a built-in wireless card. So, currently in a booting state at the moment now. Okay, now that we're logged in, um, now you can see at the moment, um, if I go obviously in here, actually I'll, I'll do it this route. So yeah, it works. You can always tell it works if there's going to be a globe at the bottom. Um, usually it will say limited access and it will say um, destination host unreachable if you try and ping out to the public environment. Um, you'll be able to ping internal addresses but um, and the router but you won't be able to like communicate um, via out to the public network. So um, I'll give you a, a, a brief idea of how my network connections are set up. So obviously you have two NICs at the moment that have been set. Um, I've basically set them to DHCP, uh, assign an IP address automatically. But what you want to make sure, what you do is <clears throat> when you have them set, do not have them set identically, the IP, the IP address. They have to be totally different from each other on a different subnet. Um, Yeah, so they've both got DHCP basically um, enabled, and they're not statically assigned, but you can statically assign them, as you can see here. So, you got the balcon, which is my... Um, my wireless connection and that's locally your connection to and that's enabled if you find this really helpful um, or if you have any queries um, just don't hesitate to leave a comment below because I definitely like was stuck on googling it then I thought it'd be a common thing so I just thought I'd give a brief description and an overview of um, basically that issue cool thanks for your time